Tell us about oh, your season last oh. year. <laughs> well, just, yeah. <laughs> so I'll tell you about the year before last first, just to get you caught up. But so in, in 2022, uh, I ended up winning a Friday night show at Path Valley. <clears throat> and uh, even though it was fun, it was great to win. I was missing something. So uh, that was, uh, we raced Saturday night. Then I ended up third. Sunday, I went and washed the car, put it away, and thought, you know what? Fuck this. I'm done. Uh, I was tired of being in the garage every night. I didn't have a crew. Every night by myself. My, 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 you know, then it was eight, eight, nine years old. My youngest boy helped all the time. I'm like, you know what? I can't do it no more. It's not fun. I was depressed. So I won Friday night, finished third Saturday night, sold the car Sunday. Uh Luckily, the guy I sold a car to said, well, why don't you run it next week at BAPS? Just make sure that you want to sell it, and we'll go from there. So I did. I ran it at BAPS. He was there. I said, yeah, we're good. I'm done. So I sold everything. Uh, and uh, well, when I was had people come to my shop there to buy stuff, Tony Reasoner come down, bought some stuff. And he seen I was building a motor because I built my own, my own motors. Most of them. Uh, so I had one being built there. <clears throat> we were talking about it, and uh, he reached out. He's like, I know you probably want to run the 93 lapper. Why don't you put your motor in my car, and you can run a 93 lapper? And I'm like, all right, that'll be fun. You know, Walt Bigler was a great friend of mine. Uh, all the Biglers are. And I didn't want to miss the first 93. But so we went and we did that, went down, and uh, – I ran three laps and hot laps. The first lap, I set the fastest time for, well, I was like third fastest overall. And uh, something broke the oil pickup off the bottom of the oil pump and I ended up locking the motor up fourth lap of the hot laps. So <laughs> John Winsett said, take it to the tech building. I get up there. He said, what do you need? I'm like, I need a motor. The thing's locked tight. He's like, well, I have a motor. I don't know if we'll get it. If we can change it, though, I'm like, oh, if you have one, we'll change it. <laughs> so we backed the tow truck up to the tech shop there at Path Valley, ripped my motor out, put his motor in. Of course, nothing was the same. You know, like, you know, we had to re-plumb stuff, rewire stuff. So we got it all done. I had like four minutes to spare before we had to go out to the quali my qualifier, which I had to start last in. Missed time trials. I went out. Coming off four on the last lap, I didn't make the last qualifying spot to start the feature. So, anyway, we ran the feature that night. I ended up finishing, I think it was 10th. Uh, and uh, John said, well, just keep that motor in for the rest of the year. You can run the rest of the year. So, Tony Reasoner was all right with that. So, we ran another race or two. I think I ended up third. I don't remember. I know there was one third there in the last in that year. So after the season, I was kind of just, you know, thinking I'm going to go get whatever I have up there and, uh, you know, my seat and stuff. And, and, you know, I'm done, you know, and he called, he's like, Hey man, why don't you run it next year? Why don't you run it full season? So of course we're still out of a motor. So we put a three Oh five together to start last year off. And, uh, I had some incredible runs against some big motors with a three Oh five, even at Bedford, I took, uh, Tony really wanted to run Bedford. And I told him on the way there, I'm like, look, I called him on the phone. <clears throat> I'm like, we can go there, but we're taking a freaking spoon to a gunfight. Like, here's, I got a 305. I'm like, don't expect anything, you know, like, I can, I can try my best, but like, don't be upset. So he wasn't. He understood. We get there. I started 14th in the feature, ended up driving to, well, I was running like fifth, sixth for a while. And got passed with you know, a couple to go. I ended up finishing seventh anyway with 305 at Bedford. So uh his Tony's brother was there that night and he's like, Look, you you'd have won that race if you'd had a good motor. So the next day we ended up going out and buying a motor, a good 358, uh, you know, like a street stock motor, pretty much. But uh and like, I had some good runs, just we were, you know, I had a bad wreck up at Big Diamond. Uh, had a guy 
you know, had a brain fart. Good friend of mine. He was a good friend before that. And he's a good friend after that. I was kind of pissed off at him for about three days, but you know, you know how it goes. You're like you don't want to ruin a friendship over someone being dumb, but he turned up in front of me as I was entering the top and he wanted to exit the track and I was entering the turn wide open and it just didn't end right. And, uh, Ended up getting beat up pretty bad there. Jumped the whole car. Uh, and luckily, uh, I knew a guy that had one of my old frames sitting around. So that happened Friday night. Saturday, I <clears throat> took a whole bunch of pain medicine. And uh, Sunday, we went and picked up another frame. And we had it ready for Saturday the following week. And raised, finished the year out with that even ran a couple wing shows with it. And, uh, I mean, for the most part, I think it was a, it wasn't a great year. We had no wins, but we had some good finishes, uh, some shitty finishes. We learned a lot as a team for the, being the first year together. And, in, uh, I mean, it made me and Tony damn near brothers. Like we're, we talk to each other every day. Uh, if he don't call me, you know, by a certain time, I'm thinking either he's sick or, He's got a piece of ass or he's mad at me. So I'll call him. <laughs>